Hi, Mr. Bodell here, Bodell's Comfort Footwear. Today we're going to speak about uh, plantar fasciitis. And here is my diagram that we're going to use. Okay, so here is your plantar fascia. It's a series of fibrosis bands that bundle up together all the way down to the heel bone right here. So this is your plantar fascia. It runs throughout the mid portion of your foot. And this is the outlayer for your lateral arch right here, which also compose fibrosis bands. Now where you get the pain and suffering is the tearing of the plantar fascia in this area where it meets the heel bone. Why that happens? Wearing shoes that are not giving you lift. They're giving you too much cushion, therefore you con continuously contract, constrict, and expand the, plantar, the, the series of fibrosis bands that compile the, fib the plantar fascia. As this continues to do this, expand and contract, it's too much on the foot. In other words, the weight is continuously going up and down, therefore constricting and expanding the plantar fascia. You need lift right in here. What that does, you keep that lifted up, that prevents the, the, in the area where the heel bone meets with the plantar fascia for breaking or tearing or inflaming. The more lift you have, the more support you have. Therefore, the weight is being comprised upward, keeping it lifted up. When you get these shoes that have what they call fresh foam, uh, your sketchers that are continuously having this cushioning, what you're doing is you're putting too much force and expansion and contraction of the series of fibrosis band that compile the plantar fascia. If you lift this up, you're going to take the weight completely off the heel. When you do that, you're going to have less pressure on the lower back, less pressure on the plantar fascia, and a better gait in your walk. That way you won't turn your foot, pronating or supinating, nor will you have the pain and suffering that composes too much weight expanding and constricting these series of fibrosis bands would compile the plantar fascia. You've got to have that lifted up consistently. If you don't, you're going to have this problem right here, where you have the inflammation and eventually the tearing. And you don't want that. So you've got to have shoes that keep your feet lifted up, the weight lifted up off these series of fibrosis bands so you can have the necessary support that keeps the weight off your lower back, off the ball of your heel, and off the ball of your foot. We're like a machine. You keep this supported right here, you're not going to have those issues. So you got to stay away from shoes that twist. You also have to stay away from shoes that have too much of this. Any type of uh, feel of a sponge like this, it's not good for you. You're, you're exercising too much in this area. You've got to have that weight lifted up. The more weight you take off, the better off you're going to be. In addition to that, you'll be able to walk farther. Your gait's going to be better. You're going to have less pressure in your lower back. And for that matter, you're going to have less pressure in the forefoot and the metatarsals areas right here. So, plantar fasciitis, you've got to have support here. If you don't get the support, you're going to continuously have this problem. Now, let me say this. What, people, what a lot of the podiatrists and orthopedists will tell you, get a cheap shoe and they're going to try to fit you with an orthotic. Okay. Why spend three or $400 on an orthotic and buy five or six pairs of shoes that aren't working after about a month or six weeks? when you can get one pair of shoes that have the support needed in order to fulfill this weight being taken off the ball of the heel and throughout the midpoint of your, your foot. If you get the right shoe that gives you the necessary lift and support and keep it constant, you will not need to get orthotics 
and buy five or six pairs of these what they call fresh foam shoes or shoes that have all this cushioning when it's not going to do you any good. You spend three to five hundred dollars uh, on a pair of orthotics when you can get a pair of shoes between three and four hundred dollars that's going to give you the necessary support to take that weight off of here you're going to be better off. I guarantee you we have shoes that will take that weight off without using orthotics and plant that weight and lift it up and keep it up. Therefore you're going to have a better improvement in your gait, better improvement in your walk, and less pain on your lower back. I know it. I've been doing this over 40 years. I can tell you right now, you get the right shoe, you're not going to have that issue. So, plantar fasciitis. Doctors are going to try to mask it with an orthotic. I get it. But I'm telling you, if you get the right shoe, you won't need an orthotic and you won't have to buy six, seven, or eight pairs of shoes down the road. All right? You get a shoe that has a shank, lasting board, and center art support, that's going to take that weight off of there. And you're going to have relief. And you have a better improvement in your gait and you'll be able to walk farther. I tell you, It'll take the pressure off your knees even. So keep that in mind. Dealing with plantar fasciitis. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Mr. Bodell, Bodell's Comfort Footwear.